Hello, my name is Jessica. Welcome to my channel where I post beauty and art related content. If you are into that sort of thing, I would love it if you would subscribe and follow along with me on this journey. I am also trying to come up with a good intro. So I'm thinking of creativity, not consumerism. Well, that, that wasn't very thorough. Um, but saying like, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica, blah, blah, blah. And then saying like, where I care about creativity, not consumerism. Something like that. Or capitalism. Creativity, not capitalism. Creativity, not consumerism. Anyway, thinking on it. I'm probably just going to throw it out there next video. But anyway, the reason I'm here today is because I wanted to play around with another Profusion palette. I bought a few goodies from them last month or so. And the palettes that I got were only five bucks each. And because that's such a stinking good deal, I wanted to tell you guys about it and do a little demo so that you can kind of gauge if you think it's something you might want to actually purchase for yourself. I am going to be using this yellow palette called Yellow Fusion. This is what it looks like. It's really cute. And it came with this awesome little um, plastic piece. I mean, I know a lot of palettes come with the plastic to keep the shades um, safe, but this one was particularly adorable because it has a cassette on it. So just saying, I mean, maybe don't spend $5 for a teensy little piece of plastic, but still it's really, really cute. Um, I swatched the shades already to show you what they look like. This is on regular old non primed skin. When I was um, rubbing my fingers up in there, <laughs> um, they felt nice and smooth and buttery, but on the skin they look a little bit lackluster, at least to my eye, but who knows? That's why I need to test them out for real on the eyes to see how they perform. I will link the stuff I'm wearing on my face if you'd like to know. Um, but I'm ready to go. My eyes are primed. My skin is done. Let's do this thing. Also, I would really love to hear how y'all are doing down in the comments. 2020 is crazy, though I am very inspired by the activism. I feel like this could be a big year for actually making some change in the realm of social justice. So I'm all here for that. Um, anyway, it's so hard for me to do makeup and talk. So I'm likely going to just do like a little time lapse of the look and then come back and let you know what I think of the shades. And then sometime here soon, I'll hopefully do a more chatty video just cause it's fun. So let's create a look. Shall we? Mm -hmm. Okay. The first shade I'm going in with is Busy Bee. The most true bright yellow shade in the palette. And I'm going to run that through my crease. All right. Now I'm going in with this more mustard toned yellow called Safari in my outer V. I think I want to add a little bit more true yellow um, on like the outer portion of my lid. So I'm going to take this shade called Bro 
and put that on there. These, some of these shade names are the exact same shade names as in the, um, that are in the Profusion Neon palette, like Gnarly and Bro. I remember because they were so like Cali Surfer Dude-esque. Um, hello. Let's put it on my eyeball now. Okay, now I'm going to put the shade Headliner right here, one of the shimmers in the palette on the inner portion of my lid. Now I'm going to add the other shimmery topper looking shade right here called Gnarly. And I'm gonna put that on the rest of my lid on top of those other shadows. Alrighty, I'm going to deepen up the first yellow I use called Busy Bee along the edges. Now I'm going to run the shade Safari along my lower lash line. Then I'll put the two shimmer shades on the inner portion of my lower lash line, Headliner and Gnarly. <music> Lastly, I am going to blend out the edges of the lower lash line with the same yellow I used in my crease, the Busy Bee shade. All right, as is my usual style, I'm just filming one eye and then I will finish up the rest of my face off camera. And when I come back, I will give you my thoughts on the palette. I don't know why I said that like a question, but I did. And here we are. Here's the final look. All right. So I finished off the look by deepening up my blush, I used a coral blush from BH Cosmetics, and I put some coral in the inner portion of my eyes, and I used the shade Bro from the Profusion Neon Palette, and then I mixed a little bit of my ColourPop, where is it? This one. My ColourPop satin lip in the shade Dreamy and I mixed it with a little bit of my orange elf sat seriously satin lipstick. Um, it's in the shade Persimmon. I tried to mix kind of a corally color. I'm happy with the way it turned out. Um, so my overall thoughts on the palette are that it's cute. It's a good price point. I mean, five bucks for like a little monochromatic moment where it has a good variety of shades. It's got deeper yellowy browns, and then it's got some brighter shades and a couple shimmers. I think that's nice. It didn't take me long to create this look. Um, but I also don't think it has a ton of depth. 
And I think that's because the shades don't really lay on top of each other very easily. Um, they would kind of blend away when I would put them on top of each other. Um, so you'd have to be careful about your placement to put it exactly where you want it because when you put other shades on top, they kind of lift up and or blend away. Um, but honestly, that didn't bug me too much because I was still able to create a look that I really like and it didn't take too much effort. It was just a little bit more than I would normally have to put in for my shadows, but I'm still happy with my purchase and I would still somewhat recommend it. For the price point, I think it's worth it, um, but I don't think it's amazing. You know what I mean? I think you know what I mean. Anyway, that's it for me, y'all. I don't know if there was something else I wanted to tell you other than I appreciate you so, so much for being here. And also, I have an Instagram that I'm going to link down in the description box below if you're into seeing some of the looks that I don't post here on YouTube or seeing some of my art. I post it there and I would love to hang out with you. I hope that you are all doing well, taking good care of yourselves, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Now what do I want to do? If I keep this up, I'm not going to have bloopers. <laughs> <laughs>